it's the Mad Queen. Welcome into the Queen's Lair. I want to go over the basics about honestly gearing every offensive hero within the game. If you don't know what an offensive hero is, that's going to be somebody that is made specifically to deal damage. And if you're curious, you don't know what hero is meant for what, it actually tells you here. So Ciara is an offensive hero, Bulin is offense, Hydrasia. Gangelo uh, offense. Let me click through um, some other ones because, you know, um, this here is a defense hero. We have support heroes. Um, so there are a few different types, and that is a very easy way to know and understand the basics of what you should be going for. So I'm going to be covering how to build all offensive units. Yes, all offensive units. It is pretty simple, and I'm not saying this is going to be something so that late game and in game players are going to use, but this is going to be a very simple way for newer players or people in the mid game. You're still kind of get a grasp, trying to get a grasp on everything um, to just generally build these heroes. It doesn't have to be hard, um, and then you don't have to get into those more niche builds which are very specific until you get farther within the game. Um, these general builds should work, honestly, for almost every hero within the game. There are going to be a few exceptions, and I will mention those. I'm going to go and we're just going to click on Ciara because she's an offensive hero. You can actually uh, make her in the fusion as well. So she's in the altar under hero synthesis. Excellent hero. Um, definitely worth the resources, worth the time. So for Ciara, oh, actually quickly before we get into that, I do want to mention, of course, join my Discord community. There's a link in the description of every video I always release. It's a great place for beginners and experienced players to come together and help share some advice and some experiences as well. The community that I have there is largely Awaken Chaos era. So don't be shy, come in, say hi, um, ask some questions, make some points, whatever you feel like. Um, you can even share what you ate for dinner last night or your a picture of your dog, I don't know, anything. Um, anyways, but back to the video. Offensive heroes are meant to deal damage, like I, I mentioned before. That is their primary goal. Offensive heroes need to be able to do damage. So if you want to deal damage, you have to have attack. Every single hero in this game does damage based on attack. But there are specific heroes who are going to be able to do extra damage based on other stats that they have, like defense or health or whatever the, the case may be for that hero specifically. But generally, all heroes, especially offensive, do their damage with attack. What you want to do when building these guys out, I'm not only going to go over what stats you need to be looking at, I'm also going to talk about the gear sets you should be using as well that you can use for a long time. I want you guys to not waste your resources and to get the most out of this. Not everybody can spend a lot of money and that's okay. You shouldn't have to be a, have to spend a bunch of money to play a game. But whenever you are looking at stats for offensive heroes, I'm not even sure if she has all of her gear on, but um, that's not important. You want to look at attack, then crit rate, and then crit damage. Those three stats are what is going to help you ultimately overall with dealing a lot of attack. So for crit rate to work 100% of the time, which just means when you're attacking, you have a certain percent or a certain percent chance or um, a percentage rate to make those hits do extra damage that are critical. So if you have 50% crit rate, it means you only have a 50% chance of hitting a critical shot. If you have a 100% crit rate, you have 100% chance of hitting a critical shot. So not only is it gonna take damage from your attack, um, the overall attack you have on the hero, it's also gonna take extra damage 
based on how much crit damage they have. That's only going to happen if your hero has a combined 100% crit rate. This is really important for critical damage. I can't tell you how many times I have done account takeovers and I see people building um, low attack with low crit rate and high crit damage. That does not work. You cannot build your heroes like that. And honestly, that's just a rookie mistake. That's something that newer players, beginners are gonna do, especially if you haven't played other gacha games within this category. Um, I personally have played quite a few gacha games that are like this one, but just a bit different. So make sure attack, crit rate, crit damage, and then Speed is something you'll eventually start looking at as well because they're going to need to be faster than... It's going also to depend on the hero specifically. They're going to need to be faster than the enemy most of the time. Like 85% of the time they need to be faster. Um, and that is really, like I was saying, going to be very specific to that hero. I have an entire series on my YouTube channel. It is called... Honestly, it's, it's a mouthful. I apologize. It's called All About Heroes Spotlight playlist or something like that. I don't know. It's on the main channel of my YouTube where I have dove into a bunch of heroes within the game individually and went over a lot of very specific information on how to use them, where to use them, um, how to build them, um, and all that good, all that good stuff. So if you want to find out specifically about heroes, check that out. I will also leave a link at the end of this video, video for you guys too. Um, so you can check it out when you're done watching this. So as far as sets go, I'm telling you, it is super, super simple. You want to look at using, hold on, let me, let me go to the gear management here and we'll take a look at the sets. For offensive heroes, warrior, where's it at? Ugh. Rage. <laughs> I couldn't find it. Warrior and Rage are going to be your two most used sets for them. And then sometimes you're also going to get, you're going to use a Raider set. Warrior is going to give extra attack and Rage gives extra crit rate. Raider is going to give you more speed. So it depends on what gear you have, what you need to get those stats. But these two sets right here, Warrior and Rage, are going to be your best friends to help you get a little extra attack and crit rate to get to those stats you really need. Honestly, I wouldn't even really look at using all of these stats or these sets over here um, until you've got really good Warrior, Rage, Raider sets for these guys. And just using those the simple builds or the simple sets are going to take you a long way i can't tell you how many of the heroes i have now that have probably at least one of those sets on them i don't use the rage set as much or almost at all because i'm able to get crit rate from my sub stats but for the warrior set i use that all the time it's great it's an excellent way to just boost your overall attack a little bit so please do this the easy way. It doesn't have to be hard. I know it can feel extremely overwhelming whenever you're first getting into it, but I'm telling you, I promise it doesn't have to be. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything additional that you would like to add to this, leave a comment below. I'd be more than happy to go over anything with you guys, continue the conversation there. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.